Hey there, I just finished a big uh, shop cleanup and reorganization, at least on that end of the shop, which needed it the most because it was always in the worst shape. But up here on this end, um, I added a clamp rack back there. That's uh, a simple project. I didn't bother doing any video for it, but I did do a website article, a brief one showing it. Uh, that's the point about those kinds of projects though. They can be really simple. A clamp rack only has to hold up the clamps. So just look at your clamps, what you need, and make something that works. Uh, the screwdriver rack. I wanted to put it over in that little space over there on my tool board, but laying it out here, I can see that it's not all gonna fit. So I had to come up with a different idea. And I think what I'm gonna do with these is put them underneath the tool cubbies up there on top and have them facing out. See, the thing about these screwdrivers, and I didn't notice this when I bought them, but it's handy, is they have the size and the type uh, written on the end of each of the screwdrivers. So if it's stored like that, you can easily see what the uh, screwdriver type is and just pull it straight out. So I have them all laid out here on my workbench in the right order, I guess you could say, and also the correct spacing apart, just to get an overall length. I can make the thing 24 inches, except it won't have space to put these stubby screwdrivers in, so maybe I'll add a little bit more. I think I'll make it 30 inches, actually. So all I'm gonna use is just a scrap of wood, and I think this is about two inches wide and about one and a quarter inches thick. And I'm gonna cut that length on the miter saw and then just knock off the bottom corners on the miter saw as well, just to make it look a little bit better. And then I'm gonna mark a center line along the whole thing so that I can start drilling holes for these screwdrivers. Now I'm gonna drill these holes the right size so that the shaft of the screwdriver fits right in there without too much slop. I've got the first four for the Robertson uh, size ones. And what I found is that I tried the other screwdrivers in here. The only ones that don't work in these size holes are the standard ones that are a little bit wider. The keystone tip on the screwdriver just doesn't fit. So I'll have to modify the hole for that, probably widen it out a little bit. I'm gonna use the screwdrivers themselves to lay it out and not bother with measuring the spacing. It's just the same amount of time. The only thing that really takes any time is changing the bits. And, you know, that's not a big deal. Now I can make this hole bigger overall, but then that means that the screwdriver will hang down lower than the other ones. It'll look kind of crappy. So instead I'm gonna make it into a slot just by drilling right beside the hole that I already drilled. And if you take your time and do that slowly with a sharp bit, it'll work every time. So I got all the holes drilled and I guess you could get all kinds of fancy here with the you know mounting of this but I just put the two biggest screwdrivers that I have in here and I'm just going to hold it in place up here and figure out where it's going to go and then I'm just going to use two screws to hold this up. There's really no need to putting any more in there. This is not a lot of weight. Okay, that looks good. I located the screws so that they'll go up into the dividers in the tool cubbies above so that they're not sticking through the plywood up there. And all I need to do now is put the screwdrivers in and it's ready to use. <laughs> 